Hello, I'm Mattia Zizzi from University of Campania Luigi Vampitelli and I'm going to present the paper Still Based Retrofitting Interventions for Existing Metal Walls, a Comparative Numerical Investigation. The paper has been prepared for the Aerosteel Conference by Alessandro Vari, Piero Colaianni, Gianfranco De Matteis and Mattia Zizzi. The paper focuses on uh, the study of the efficiency of two different uh, steel-based retrofitting techniques, which are the CAM system and the steel wheels. In particular, these two uh, systems consist on the introduction of a three-dimensional mesh made up of pretensioned stainless steel ribbons, while the steel grids consist on the application on both phases of mesory panel of vertical and horizontal steel elements. The study uh, is based on uh, the results uh, of a previous um, experimental campaign uh, carried out on a, an, an unreinforced mesory wall, and based on this test, uh, a reference numerical model has been proposed. Then, the two different systems have been investigated by means of numerical analysis. The experimental test adopted as a reference for the present study was performed within the experimental campaign in Cammino and consisted in an experimental Shepard test on an existing mesory wall. Uh, in particular, uh, under the condition of constant vertical load, the panel was pushed uh, by increasing uh, horizontal displacements in the mid eight section until its failure. Um, as far as the constraint conditions are concerned, a reinforced concrete beam was adopted for the upper side and coupled VPN system was ad uh, were adopted for the mid-8 and base section. At the end of the test, the panel uh, exhibited a maximum lateral force of about 175 kN and a maximum lateral displacement of 18 mm. Uh, it is important to note that probably due to the different stiff, stiffness of the reinforced concrete beam and the UPN system at the base, some rotation occurred, and so the upper half panel resulted more damaged. So, uh, based on this result, the numerical model has been uh, implemented in the Abacus software uh, by adopting uh, eight node elements, so solid elements. Um, in part, uh, for, the, for modeling the mesory behavior, the concrete damage plasticity material model uh, has been adopted, and for simulating the external rigid beams, uh, rigid links between the nodes and the external reference points have been introduced. In such a way, the boundary conditions so uh, constraints and loads uh, have been applied on these reference points. Uh, the first model that uh, has been proposed uh, included at uh, the base reference point the presence of vertical and rotational, rotational springs in order uh, to uh, simulate the different stiffness of the external rigid beams in the real test. Um, and as, as can be seen in the force displacement graph, the red curve, uh, which is of course uh, of the URM model, so the one that simulates the real condition, uh, show a good correspondence between the experimental and the numerical model. Then uh, a new model has been proposed, uh, so instead of uh, external rotational and translational springs, a perfect constant condition uh, uh, has been introduced, and the new model exhibited a higher stiffness in the first phase of the analysis, and also a an higher uh, lateral capacity, but a lower 
uh, ductility of the panel. Uh, this model, so the URM ref model, has been adopted as reference for the following analysis. The two uh, retrofit numerical models uh, have been uh, defined according to some uh, preliminary hypotheses. In particular, uh, as far as the CAM system is concerned, the steel partner uh, has been defined according to a real experimental test. Uh, steel elements uh, have been modeled by means of bidimensional elements uh, and the pretension to steel elements has been introduced by means of a thermal variation. Uh, for the steel, a plastic uh, material model has been proposed with a typical bilinear constitutive law and in order to simulate the presence of metallic metallic plates in the holes uh, proximity, uh, ridge links uh, have been introduced in the model. Uh, with regard to the interaction between the steel and the masonry, an hard contact in the normal direction uh, has been adopted and a penalty behavior in the tangential direction has been used. Uh, as far as the system 2, so the steel grid system, is concerned, uh, again, uh, bidimensional elements have been uh, adopted, and also in this case, a plastic material model for simulating the steel behavior uh, is used. Um, the steel partner of uh, this second system uh, has been defined by assuming the same steel quantity of the system one. Uh, in the end, the interaction between the steel elements and the masonry panel has been uh, proposed by means of surface ties uh, in order to simulate the perfect connection by these two materials. The analysis of the two retrofitted models were carried out by considering the same load conditions of the uh, unreinforced reference model. In particular, a constant vertical load of uh, 200 kN and an increasing horizontal displacement until the failure of the panel was adopted. Since a displacement control uh, was used, uh, a conventional failure point has been defined and the analysis were stopped when a decreasing of the 20% of the maximum lateral force occurred. Um, as can be observed in the obtained force displacement curves, both systems uh, revealed a significant uh, improvement of the seismic behavior of the panel. Uh, indeed, the maximum uh, lateral displacement for CAM system was 30 mm, and the maximum lateral displacement for the steel grid system was 19 mm while for the unreinforced configuration the panel was pushed until a maximum displacement of 9 mm. Um, also, uh, a, an increasing on the maximum lateral force was obtained for both systems, uh, while uh, the initial stiffness uh, of the unreinforced configuration and both reinforced configurations was uh, almost the same. Um, on the wall, the introduction of steel elements uh, in the unreinforced configuration leads to postpone the occurrence of tensile stresses in the masonry material. Um, indeed, uh, as can be noted in the contour plots uh, of the unreinforced and both reinforced configurations, the maximum level of tensile stresses was substantially lower uh, in the reinforced configurations. Moreover, the tensile plastic strains for retrofitted systems were more fairly distributed among the mesory area, avoiding the concentration of crack along the diagonals. 
um, as can be seen also in the stress strain uh, contour plot uh, of the steel element, the uh, in case of the CAM system, the steel ribbons overcame their compressive or tensile EM stresses in several critical zones, such as the corners and the mid eight of the arc panels. As a consequence, a significant increment of ductility was provided to the mesonary panel, despite the strength decrease resulted almo almost negligible. On the other hand, in case of traditional steel grids application, the panel returned a more accentuated arcing branch after the elastic limit, due to the fact that even at the failure point, the steel elements were still in the elastic field. The collapse, the collapse mechanism of the two retrofitted panels uh, were different. Indeed, in case of uh, CAM system, a flexural failure uh, was obtained, while a shear failure was obtained for the steel grid system. Um, uh, this is uh, appreciable by observing the presence of compressive plastic strain in the corners. Uh, of the reinforced CAM system, uh, as well as the higher ductility exhibited in the global response, which are typical of a flexural crisis. Um, maybe such a behavior is due to the additional confinement effect provided by the pretension applied on the stainless steel ribbons. Uh, on the contrary, the adoption of steel grids led to a behavior very similar to those exhibited by the unreinforced wall since a shear failure with a diagonal cracking was reached at the end of the analysis, um, even though a significant increment of both strength and ductility was achieved. So, uh, by concluding uh, the presentation of this work, can be asserted that both systems revealed a significant improvement of the measuring wall behavior in seismic load condition, especially in the post-peak phase. Indeed, the presence of steel elements provided to the unreinforced configuration a significant additional ductility and a not negligible increasing of the shear capacity. In the wall, um, the obtained results emphasized a good performance of both retrofitting systems, proving the suitability of such techniques for the structural enhancement of existing masonry structures. Thank you for your attention.